Craig here and I wanted to create a quick video and cover the plugin called P3 Plugin Performance Profiler. Now several months ago a member from Wealthy Affiliate, Rich, he introduced me to this plugin and since then I've installed it on all of my WordPress blogs. Now I use this plugin to figure out if a plugin or several plugins are causing my site to perform slowly. So whenever I notice that something doesn't feel right or perhaps my website is acting slow even when i'm inside my dashboard if i click on another page and it seems to be you know taking a while for the other page to load up then i will perform a scan with this p3 plugin because i want to make sure a plugin is not causing the problem now this blog that i'm on now the wiseaffiliate.com it currently has 26 active plugins and i know yes that's way too many active plugins but this is an old website and I need to do some house cleaning and remove plugins that I really don't need on here. So I've already installed and I have activated the P3 plugin performance profiler plugin and under the plugins page I could click on scan now or I can also navigate to tools and P3 plugin profiler. Now jumping over to this tab, this was my last scan and the plugin load time was 1.334 seconds. Now that is actually far too long. Now ideally you want to have it around 0.5 or lower. Uh, just recently I performed a scan and it was 5.5 something. And that was because several plugins, I'm not exactly sure what happened, but I had some big conflicts and I had to disable and remove a couple of plugins. So this was from my last scan performed a couple of minutes ago. It tells me my total plugins, number of queries, you know, the impact of the plugins on my load time, the page load time. Now down here we have a simple pie chart which we can look at. And this purple area here is a plugin called the Syntax Highlighter. And I actually only use this plugin for one particular post because I have one post where I wanted to display some code within the post and make it look all nice nice but I've just realized that this plugin is causing a huge load time so what I'm going to do is go back to my plugins and I'm going to disable or deactivate the plugin okay so the plugin has been deactivated and I also deactivated another plugin post notification because I no longer use that either so I'm going to come back to the p3 plugin profiler and we are going to perform a new scan so this is basically all you would have to do. You come out onto the settings page and you click start scan and you just click on auto scan. What it's going to do now, it's going to load up different pages of your website, for example, your home page, a, a page, a post, a tag page. It's going to load up some of the admin area pages and it's going to perform the scan and see how much resources the plugins use, etc. So I'm going to press pause and we'll be right back. Okay, so the scan's completed and I notice right here it's displaying some error. Now that error is not related to the plugin, it's probably related to my theme or something and I will investigate that once I've finished the video. So I'm going to click on view results and it's going to refresh here and now our plugin load time is 0.5 seconds per visit. And the impact has gone from almost 80 to 60%. Now the queries has gone up, not exactly sure why. So now when we look at the pie chart, it looks a little different. Now the biggest resource plugin is Jetpack by WordPress.com. Now if you use that plugin, you'll understand why this is using the most resources. It's because it has about 20 different features. It's like 20 plugins built into one. And then the next one, Oh, is other. Now other is pretty much all of the other plugins not on here all into one. So the red one, Pretty Link, uh, Traffic Player Pro. So that's it. Now I'm okay with my plugin load time being around, you know, 0 0.5. So that's pretty much how you use the plugin. You can go into a more detailed breakdown. It's gonna, it's gonna give you some more details. You can, you know, go over this in your own time. I don't really want to cover it in the video because I'm not exactly sure of all of the details. We have a simple breakdown. So as you can see, the plugins use most of the resource. Now, the orange color down here, 
that is the actual WordPress core file. Now they don't use much resource and the theme, well, it doesn't use too much either. Anyway, the plugin is called P3 Plugin Profiler. And if your site is performing a little bit strange, you know, perhaps you should install this and perform a scan. Uh, if you have any questions or comments, uh, feel free to post them below. I uh, hope that helped. Have a great day.